The instrument panel brings together all the information you need to drive. The screen display is fully customizable. You can set the design of the screen and choose widgets to suit the information that you want to see. You can also change the color of the display. When the engine starts, the ready message appears to tell you that the vehicle is ready to set off. It goes out when the speed passes about 3.1 miles per hour or 5 kilometers per hour. Each screen design contains a field that displays information and vehicle malfunction messages. Depending on the design of the instrument panel view mode, you can modify the way the widgets are displayed. Press the top of this button to display information about distance traveled, consumption, tire pressures, the eco monitor, and media. The distance widget shows the total distance traveled and the distance traveled since the last reset. The consumption widget tells you about your average consumption since the last reset and your current consumption. To reset this information manually, press and hold the bottom of this switch. The tire pressure widget shows the current pressures on the instrument panel and warns you if they are too low. To reset the pressure of the four tires, with the ignition on and the vehicle stationary, press and hold the bottom of this switch. The eco monitor tells you about your driving style. The bigger the circle in the green zone, the better you're controlling your speed and acceleration, and the better your anticipation. It shows that your driving is economical. Lastly, the media widget shows you which music is playing, whatever the source you're using. Use the View button on the steering wheel to select a view mode from several designs. Classic, Navigation, Minimal, and Realistic. The classic design consists mainly of a speedometer and a power meter for hybrid vehicles or a rev counter for combustion engine vehicles. The current gear is displayed in the center of the speedometer. The power meter indicates your vehicle's energy consumption in real time. It shows when energy is being recovered and when it's being consumed. When you're in the charge zone, the battery is recharging. The further you are in the power zone, the greater the amount of energy that your vehicle is consuming. In neutral position, energy consumption is zero. You can display widgets in the center of the power meter. Onboard log messages are also shown in this area. You can see instructions for the current navigation at the top of the screen. The fuel level indicator and your forecast range are shown at the bottom of the screen. The current multi-sense mode is shown here. Here you can see the charge level of your battery as well as the regenerative braking level indicator light if you have a hybrid vehicle. 
Note that if you have a combustion engine vehicle, the coolant temperature indicator is displayed. Lastly, you can also see information about the driving aids that are currently in use. The navigation design displays the OpenRLink Multimedia System Navigation Map. Note that the navigation display on the instrument panel screen is only available with Google Maps. Instructions on the route to be followed are displayed at the top of the screen. The speedometer appears on the left. The current gear and information about the driving aids that are currently in use are shown in this area. The area on the right is used to display your chosen widgets and onboard log messages. The fuel level and your range are shown at the bottom of the screen. Lastly, you can see the current multi-sense mode and the regenerative braking level indicator light. The minimal design provides a minimalist view. Your speed, the current gear and the driving aids that are currently in use are displayed in the center of the screen. Instructions on the route to be followed are displayed at the top of the screen. Lastly, you can see the fuel level, your range, the current multi-sense mode, your battery charge level and the regenerative braking level indicator light at the bottom of the screen. The realistic design provides a model view of the surrounding traffic. The speedometer appears on the left with an indication of the gear engaged and information on the driving aids that are currently in use. The area on the right is used to display your chosen widgets and onboard log messages. You can see instructions for the current navigation at the top of the screen. Lastly, you can see the fuel level, your forecast range, the current multi-sense mode, your battery charge level, and the current regenerative braking level indicator light at the bottom of the screen. To set the color of the ambiance lighting and the open R screens, go to the vehicle section of your multimedia system. Press the configure button on the multi-sense menu. Then press here. If you select variable lights from the ambient lighting menu, the system automatically changes the color of the passenger compartment lighting and open our screens every 30 minutes to provide the most suitable ambient light color for each part of the day. Press here to choose one of 48 colors manually. Press this icon, then move the cursor over the color palette. Press OK to confirm your chosen color.